I got chosen to be one of the flag bearers of this much-awaited ICC Men's T20 World Cup. This tournament was originally scheduled to be held in Australia in May 2020, but it was postponed because of the global COVID-19 panic. <clears throat> Pandemic. <clears throat> COVID-19. I'm looking at you. It's all your fault for postponing the T20 World Cup. Anyway, and it's back for another year with the 2022 season. Australia is not only the defending champions returning to the tournament, but also hosted that year's competition. This year's T20 World Cup comprises 45 matches Sixteen teams, seven rounds, and four different time zones across 28 days. Phew! After such a long wait for this event, which surpassingly is just 12 months since the previous version because of that COVID scuffle, the 2022 event gets on its way with the first round starting at Geelong's Cardinia Park. There were two rounds of the T20 World Cup, with round one ran from October 16 to 21, before the Super 12 start with Australia's first match on October 22. The Super 12s ran until November 6, with the semi-finals on November 9 in Sydney and November 10 in Adelaide, before the final at the MCG on the evening of November 13. Round 1 featured 8 teams split into 2 groups of 4, who did not automatically qualify for the Super 12s. Each team in Round 1 played the other in their group once, only once, before the top 2 from each group progressed to the Super 12s, and the other teams were eliminated. All matches in this round are played at Geelong's Cardinia Park. <laughs> This is not going to progress if you don't have anything to eat. Best food to eat while watching any game is those food that is ready available in the stadium. We bought spicy fried chicken, filet, and hot chips. After the ceremony, we chose to stay to watch the match of the Netherlands and Sri Lanka. As much as I'm not a fan of this game, and when we were seated on the bleachers, we got asked where we are from, and when he found out that we were from the Philippines, we kind of knew what he was trying to ask, because Philippines in general is not a cricket fan. We just told him that we attended because of the school activities, which was kind of true. We came to realize attending this event taught us so much about cricket. It's great that finally people would have something to look forward to. There's a unifying force. Oops, someone is famished for cold chow. These kids are excited to be a big shot. Someone is getting passionate about having signatures of their favorite cricketers. The players are so game on taking signatures for us. <laughs> Don't forget to sign my shirt. What's your name? What's your name? Steven. Okay, let's get back to the game. This match is the Netherlands and Sri Lanka. By the way, we really don't know how the game works, but according to what we are seeing right now, Sri Lanka is the one who's leading the pack. After the 
match, we went straight to the face painting. I don't want my face to be painted, so I asked the lady to place the paint in my arm instead. My friend had his face painted, and he selected a dragon. Look how it became! And there you have it, Sri Lanka won this match. I guess they are one of the people who knows how to celebrate splendidly.